Yes, I know. I don't have makeup on. Don't judge. Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Um, so this weekend, I'm going to be showing you guys my November favorites. I just had to think about the month for a second. Um, can we just discuss first that this year has gone by so quick. Well, at least for me it has. Oh my gosh, it's gone by so quick and I can't believe November's already over and I know probably everyone says that, but it's crazy. It's insane. So, um, I've never done a favorites video, I think, on my channel. Um, but usually I don't film them because I don't really think about it, but, um, I can't, uh, do a makeup video for you guys this week because, uh, I just got an infection in my eye and, well, I'm getting over it now, um, uh, but it wasn't fun, but, um, it was a sty and it was just, it wasn't, it wasn't cute and, um, it's still healing, it was in this eye, um, it's not as bad as it was, but just to make sure, I didn't want to uh, harm it anymore. So I decided I would do a favorites video for you guys. So I'm going to be showing you guys makeup, um, a little couple of hair products, and uh, clothing items. A uh, couple of clothing items to show you guys. So let's get started. So first, we're going to start with makeup. And I'm just going to go in really random order, um, no particular order at all. Maybe we'll go with the eyes first. Okay, so first, um, the mascara I've been loving uh, this month has been the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. I use this all the time in my videos, if you guys don't notice. And um, it's such a good mascara because I, first of all, I love the wand because it's so thin. I am personally a big fan of thin wands. And um, the formulas feels like a gel formula it doesn't feel as like slippery as other mascaras it's a little bit more thick and it makes my eyelashes super black whenever mascara is like not super super black I always put this on top because it just makes my eyelashes stand out so this is the mascara I've been loving next um, has been the Stila um, waterproof eyeliner in damsel and I also have used this in a couple of my videos and it's just a brown, a very dark brown eyeliner, and it's uh, waterproof, smudge proof. And I got this in a palette, in the Steal It in the No palette. Um, I got it uh, in my from my birthday uh, back in February, but um, I just love this uh, eyeliner because I, with my some of my looks, I don't like using jet black um, eyeliner. I want to go a little bit more. A little bit more soft so I love this and because it's brown and it's super pigmented and it doesn't smudge like other um, like other eyeliner I've really been liking this going along with eyeliners I've also been really loving the Rimmel scandalized uh, waterproof coal eyeliner in nude and um, I think I've used this in one video so far but I when I wear makeup uh, like out to school um, I just put this on to make me to make myself look more awake because the mornings are literally the worst part of the day I'm not even gonna discuss it it's just horrible but this makes me look a lot more awake and sometimes I get like red in my eyes so this like neutralizes everything so I've been loving this as well so uh, another random eye product I've been loving is the Mac uh, eyeshadow in Blanc type. Um, I've used this in I think several videos but um, on my everyday makeup uh, routine video um, I said this is my favorite highlight color and it still is. It's just nothing can beat it. It's such a good eyeshadow. It's so incredibly pigmented. It's just it's crazy and it makes especially on my, my skin tone it makes my eyes look super bright when I want that really nice matte highlight, you know. Um, so I've just been loving this eyeshadow, and I've obviously hit pans. So if you're looking for a really good highlight shade, uh, Max Blanc Type is really good. There's probably a drugstore brand that has one equivalent to this, but this is just what I have, and I love it. Okay, so moving on to the face, um, I have been also enjoying the. Benefit Erase Paste in the color medium number two, and I got this from my cousin uh, a couple years ago. And um, I know people are like, "Oh, you have to throw out your makeup every three months," but this has done nothing, and it's it's fine. But 
um, she didn't like it, and uh, so I had to figure out what I had to do with it because it, it looks so pink. I was like, this is not my skin tone. But I figured out that I had to put it on like dark areas of my face, like dark uh, purpley. Um, so yeah, I've been loving this concealer, and, and this will probably be one of the best concealers I will ever own because it is so good and it makes you look so awake. Another face product I've been loving is the uh, MAC Blush in Melba. So I know a lot of makeup artists use this and I can understand because it is such a good blush because it's um, matte. First of all, matte blushes I think go a long way because they're so universal I think. Um, so probably because of that, that's why I love it. I love matte blushes. I don't go for shimmery blushes. I don't like the chunky shimmer. I more like the the sheen. But I mostly go for matte blushes and the color of this is so pretty. It's like very neutral and it's peach and I really like that color. So that was a really weird description of how it grabbed it. But I basically really like this blush and it goes with every single look mostly. So I really recommend it. MAC Melba blush. Love it. And as always, I always use this in my videos, is the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Blonde. You guys will hear this all the time. I always put this on my brows uh, for my videos. And um, if I don't, that means I don't want strong fle on fleek brows. I don't want brows that are on point. That's what I do sometimes. Like when I go to school, I just fill them in with the powder sometimes because in the morning I just don't give a what so <laughs> I don't do this every day but this is definitely what I put on for videos because it makes my eyebrows look so defined so yeah been loving this and you guys will see this in probably every single video so a brush that I have been loving is the Sephora Pro Airbrush Concealer Brush and this was the rage the rage the rave the rage the rave uh, this was the rave uh, a couple years ago, but this is basically a very fluffy, um, I think it's synthetic brush um, from Sephora, and it's basically used, you're supposed to use it for concealer, and I do like it for concealer, but I really love it for um, applying base colors to my eyes. Uh, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but in my past videos, I do apply like highlight shades. Um, usually when I prep my face before videos on the videos that I do prep my face before I do use this to like make my eyelids a uh, neutral color but I love this brush because it's so awesome it picks up a lot of the product and I just really like it because it's really fluffy and it's really dense so I really recommend this and the lipstick that I've been loving for probably a couple months including the month of November obviously is Max Velvet Teddy lipstick and um, as you guys saw in my Kylie Jenner video um, I talked about this a lot I love it it's just amazing love colors like this it's a super super good um, uh, lipstick and you can probably find the exact same color at drugstore just love this one it's amazing and the last kind of beauty uh, a product that I have been loving and I have been loving all year actually um, including this month is the Parian Spirit um, makeup uh, brush, or brush cleanser and my friend had her quinceanera in um, January and the makeup artist that did her makeup uh, asked me to help her clean the brushes and she handed this to me the much bigger one though and um, it was so amazing right when I put the brush to the uh, product the product like washed away off the brush like immediately it was amazing so I um, the next day actually I went to iMats and I purchased this and um, it's lasted me all year and as you can see it's cloudy and this is this it, it kind of expires over six months but it doesn't go bad it doesn't like ruin your brushes or anything it just kind of separates like this so it gets really cloudy but um yeah I'm trying to savor this cuz I'm at I'm not gonna be able to go to cuz you have to be 17 or older which really sucks uh, so 
but this is such an amazing product. I haven't washed like deep, deep cleansed my brushes for the whole year, which is probably sound probably sounds really disgusting, but it's it's amazing and it smells like oranges, which I'm not the biggest fan of, but gotta love it. I love it. It's amazing. It's amazing. So I've been loving the Tresemme Flawless Curled Extra Hold Mousse. And I, when I cut my hair in the beginning, September 1st, in the beginning of September, I got it layered because um, I was bored of the straight cut uh, hair. So um, I wanted a lot more texture. I wanted to be curly again. So I purchased this and um, I first used some mousse at my friend's house and I was like, I was looking at my hair all day, I was like, okay, I need some mousse because it looked a lot more defined and had a lot more body to it and curl, so I bought this, and um, I didn't know how it was going to be, but I really do love it, and I've used it on my mom's hair because she has short hair too, shorter than mine, but I've like run it through her hair and I blow dry it and it makes it super like voluminous and stuff, so she loves this too, but yeah, this is a really good mousse, and if you're in need for mousse, it's really good. It makes your hair kind of crunchy, but I personally like that, so yeah. This is the first thing for hair. I've also been loving the Tresemme uh, Fresh Start Basic Care Dry Shampoo, and I'm almost out of it. But um, for those days when I usually don't mind when my hair is oily that much, and um, I know a lot of people do, but um, I personally don't that much but when I am really just bothered by my hair one day and I just hate how it looks and it looks really greasy and I don't want to take a shower which is really gross I just use this um, and it works pretty good it looks pretty good dry shampoo is not my favorite but um, this is the only one I have but it's, it's it works good um, it makes it doesn't make it look greasy so this is pretty good next is the I don't have the cap for it but uh, what is it? Uh, OGX uh, Beauty Pure OGX and Simple. I don't know what, what brand is. Oh, <laughs> it's called Organics, and uh, you can buy it at Ulta. But it's this um, weightless hydration coconut water, weightless hydration oil. And uh, basically, I saw this when I had my long hair and I had my ombre hair. The ombre part was super dead. And um, I wasn't thinking of cutting it back then, so I bought the first one I bought was an argan oil one. But I bought this in January, I think, and I still had my long hair. And I would spray this, and it would make it look super, um, not super healthy, but it would make it a lot, make it look a lot less dry because my hair looked super dry because it was dry. So I would use this all the time, and I still do once in a while. Um, when I feel like my hair is a bit frizzy and it looks kind of dry, um, my hair is a, is is so healthy now that I don't really need to use it. But this is really good for when I my hair looks really frizzy and stuff. So I've been really liking this. And a random one that I forgot to mention in the beginning. Uh, my favorite fragrance has been the Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin scent by Bath and Body Works. And yes, this is the old. Is this old packaging? I have not been to Bath and Body Works in a while, so, uh, actually, no, this is pretty, no, this is the new, new packaging. They might have, this logo might be different, but it's the Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin scent, and it's just, it just screams fall, and it's amazing, and uh, I just love it. People are like, what are you wearing? And I'm, and I, you know, I just say fall, because it's basically fall. Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin, it smells so good, you guys, you should get it, it's really good. Okay, so for the final thing, for the clothing and stuff, I'm going to start by what I'm wearing. Uh, I'm wearing my pajamas, which is um, really convenient and probably what every YouTuber does. But, um, so, I'm just going to show you here. Uh, I have these uh, pajamas from Victoria's Secret, and I'm not going to turn around because they're kind of see-through, so I don't want to, like, pull out of you guys. But these are, um, uh pajama bottoms from Victoria's Secret and they say uh like they have a little picture of like every like popular location like Paris, New York um that's basically what all they have but it has little pictures and stuff and it has like this nice cream color and it has pockets which I love and um yeah I just really like them because I'm 
uh, gonna travel soon, so I just, I, this made me really excited, so that's why I got them. So, yeah, these are my current favorites right now. I have another pair of pajamas to show you guys, because I love pajamas. Um, but with the pajamas that I got from Victoria's Secret, I got a pair of free slippers, and I love them, because now it's finally getting cold. Um, so these are really nice. They're really fluffy, and I've used them so far, and the fluff has gone down, and I'm really disappointed. It really sucks, but yeah, they're super cute, and gray is my favorite color, so they're just, they're just amazing. I love them, so these are what I got with the pajamas for free. Um, and then another pair of pajamas that I've been loving, pajama bottoms, I, when I first saw them, I thought I was going to die. It was amazing. Oh my gosh. I was like, Mom? I had another pair of pajamas in my hand. I was like, I threw them. I was like, Mom, I need these. I'm going to get them. And there, wait for it. Wait for it. Little Mermaid pajama bottoms that are fuzzy. And they're so cozy. And these look super big right now because they were, I think, I got them a month ago. Well, now a month ago because it was in November. I think I got them in November or something like that. Or maybe it was October. I think I got them in, I got them in October. But they have been my current obsession for the past month now and will be for the rest of my life because they're amazing. And they only had two sizes. They had small and extra large. And I prefer medium. But... I had to buy them, so I got an extra large, and they are huge, but I have tightened this a lot, and they're still really big, they still loosen up on me all the time, but I love them, and they're amazing, and they're my life because they have Ariel, Shabbat, Sebastian, uh, Flounder, they, they're, these are my life, so I basically love these, oh my gosh, they're my life, they're my life, they're my life. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. I forgot to tell you that uh, my other obsession has been my choker and it has this little little, little bead right here. Uh, my mom's a, a, a jewelry, what do you call those? I don't, I don't know. She makes jewelry basically. And uh, yeah, so that's, this is how it got. But it's velvet and I love it. So I haven't worn it a lot, but I just love this thing so much. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video and hope you're entertained and I actually really like this video because it was something new because I don't really talk in my videos all the time like I don't like I always do beauty and it's nice to just talk to you guys okay so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys enjoyed the products that I showed you and are willing to check them out or not whatever make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it if you didn't give it a thumbs up so I hope you guys enjoyed and and I will see you next weekend. Bye. Another face product I've been loving is the uh, MAC Blush in Melba and I know a lot of makeup artists on YouTube use this and uh, it's, uh, I don't know what to say, I'm speechless. <laughs> I'm so bad at putting this together. Okay. Okay, so for hair products of this month, I have been loving the Tresemme. Um, Tresemme. I said that really weird. Um, I've, I, <laughs> I've been loving the Tresemme um, number one. Wow. I read number one mousse brand. I'm so smart. This is pretty good. Pretty darn good. Okay, um...